Hi, my friends, I hope you're doing well. This is the third episode of my best of beauty series where I compile all the best things that I tried in 2023. We've talked drugstore, we've talked high end, and now we're talking hair, skin, body, nails, some wellness stuff that I just am obsessed with. Let's just dive right in, okay? I've got a lot to talk about, so we're just gonna dive right on in. Starting off with a shampoo and conditioner that I started using after having my baby last December. So at the beginning of the year or whenever this launched, I'm pretty sure it was around that time, the Briogeo Destin for Density shampoo and conditioner to help revive my hair, to try to bring back some of the density that I lost postpartum. Um, and I love this. Like, I really, really love this. It smells so good and I really do feel like it helped with the overall health of my hair this year. So highly recommend these. Briogeo just can do no wrong in my eyes, honestly. Paired with that, I used the Briogeo Destin for Density Serum all the time. This is the Caffeine and Biotin Peptide Density Serum. I love this formula because it's not super oily, so you can use it on dry or wet hair. And even on like freshly washed hair, it's not gonna like ruin your shampoo. You know what I'm saying? You know how when your hair feels so clean and then you put like scalp serums in sometimes and it can just like mess it all up? Doesn't happen with this. Plus I feel like it really did help with the overall density of my hair. Again, postpartum especially. This whole line was something that I used all the time and still do use. I really love it. Speaking of the scalp, this scalp cleanser is unlike anything I've ever tried. I tried this out more recently because this launched in October. So that was when I started using it and oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is the Anna Blue Scalp Cleanser. It has the most unique texture. It's like salty, I can't explain it but the salt is not drying. It like whips up as you're washing your hair. It foams into like a lather. Look at this texture. It feels so good in the shower, on the scalp. It kind of tingles a little bit, but in a really gentle way. It smells like the most luxurious rose and not in like a grandmother rose way. It's fresh, it's so good. I've talked about that in my favorites video recently. You can actually use that in place of shampoo, which is really nice. A lot of my scalp scrubs, I feel like I have to shampoo after to like rinse out the scalp scrub, but this one rinses out so nicely and you can like feel it in the shower. You kind of just have to like try it to know what I'm talking about, but it just like leaves the most beautiful, nourishing feel to your scalp and hair. I'm obsessed. This by itself is incredible, but this paired with their scalp scrubber is elite. I mentioned this in my favorites video whenever I talked about it this year. This scalp scrubber is elite. There's not much more I can say about it. These two paired together are a match made in heaven. If your scalp needs some TLC, uh, try these. They're so good. I've never tried a formula quite like this and I've never ever tried a scalp scrubber like this. It's my all time favorite, like 12 out of 10 on the scalp scrubber. It feels so good in the shower. It's insane. Also from the same brand, I've been loving the Ana Blue Treatment Oil. This is such a luxurious feeling hair oil. Um, I really love how it's lightweight though. You can really layer it up if you want to. And I've been doing that for like hair wash days where I want to have a little boost of hydration. So I'll like put this in my scalp, kind of smooth it through the ends of my hair, do like a slick back look like this. And then nobody knows that you've got like really oily hair because <laughs> it's just slicked back, you know, that's the vibe. And then you can hop in the shower, use the scalp scrub, and it's just a beautiful combination. They also make a hair serum, which I do really like. That's a little more lightweight, but I find myself using this oil, the scrub and the scrubber the most. So I felt like these all deserved a spot. In this video this year, they're so nice. I'm telling you, they're so nice. And this smells really good too. I fell in love with this right here. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. It's like a heat protecting spray, which is so nice, but it's really lightweight, which I love. So, and it smells so good. Really, there's not much more to say than like, it's really hydrating. It protects the hair. It's great on wet or dry hair, which I love, but it doesn't weigh the hair down. So if I want to blow dry my hair, but I want a little bit of like a heat protectant added in there, I go for this. And I also use it on dry hair if I'm gonna go in with a hot tool and I've been loving it. So nice. This scalp serum from Captain Blankenship is phenomenal. This is so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. You can use this in a similar way as the Anna Blue um, scalp oil, but this has rosemary in it, I believe, which helps with like hair growth. It just nourishes the hair. I also love to take a tiny bit of this on dry hair 
massage it into my fingertips and use it on the ends and I feel like it just kind of tames flyaways stuff like that and it just smells amazing this stuff is so nice also from Captain Blankenship is the sea salt spray this is one of my favorite sea salt sprays that I've ever tried ever in my life it's stunning it's phenomenal I'm absolutely obsessed with it I want to try more from Captain Blankenship like it's such a cool brand I love their vibe it makes me feel like a mermaid when I use it <laughs> and yeah these two products are 10 out of 10, like such good hair products. I use these like crazy this year, like you wouldn't even believe, I love these. To help me in my slick back efforts, which I'm still in my slick back era, okay? And I don't know if I'll ever leave, but I love the Day Cactus Fruit styling cream. This is amazing for any sort of slick back hairdos. It's lightweight. I actually have the travel size and I'm still working through it because you don't need that much. Like a little goes a long way. You can also use this before blow drying the hair and it kind of acts as a heat protectant, but it's so nice. Also this SNTE hair wax stick has come in very handy this year. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a wax stick that's so nice for taming flyaways. So I like to use the day product first and then I go in with this on top and it really helps tame frizz. These two are a match made in heaven. I have used Aquas hair towels since the beginning of time and I love them so much, but I recently tried out their newest style and I'm even more in love. It's way better than it used to be. It used to have like a button on the end and then you would try to like fasten it. This just has a little elastic that you can use. It's way better, but this essentially just wicks away moisture really quickly in the hair, which allows your hair to stay more strong. Am I explaining that well? <laughs> Not really. Apparently wet hair is weak hair. So the faster you can kind of like wick away the moisture without drying it, the better. And that's what these are for. I've loved them. I think they're great. So, and I have noticed a difference when I use those. Plus it wicks away moisture so fast that I feel like it cuts my hair dry time in like half, which is really great. So that's it for hair products. Now we're gonna move into skincare. I probably should have wiped this off. I'm just realizing. I probably should have wiped this off before putting it in here, but. This is well loved. This is the Lisa Eldridge Skin Enhancing Treatment Cleanser. This formula, texture, scent, all of it. The experience is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. This will take off all of your makeup and you can also use it as a hydrating mask, which I am obsessed with. I use it like that all the time. This stuff is phenomenal, like 10 out of 10. She made a whole video when she first launched this where she like explained the ingredients in there. I'm not gonna go into detail the way she did, but you should watch it if you're like kind of into formulas the way that I am. It's so good. Like you have to try it, especially if you wear a lot of makeup. Um, it's just like a multi-purpose cleanser. It just does everything. It's amazing. It's so nice. I love it. Also, the Osea Ocean Cleanser is so beautiful. This has really nice ingredients in it and it actually like has, I believe glycolic acid. I could be wrong. It's either glycolic or lactic acid. I need to look at the ingredients again. Point is, it really does a good job at like polishing the skin while it cleanses. This gets rid of all my makeup as well, um, but it really does a good job at gently exfoliating the skin too. So you're left with really smooth skin, super clean skin, not over dried either. It's beautiful. It's one of my all time favorites. This always sits on my countertop in my bathroom because again, it does take off makeup, which I love. So I use this all the time at night. I've talked about this many times, but if you're looking for an at home facial peel, this Shawnee Darden little peel situation, it's actually called the triple acid signature peel is amazing. It comes with a brush, comes with some of these and it comes with a little mask at the end. So what you do is you take this little pod, it has like a little jelly formula in there. You apply this all over the face with a brush and you let it sit for a few minutes. And then like that's the active ingredient. Those are like the acids. Then you use this step two neutralizing mask. This has clay in it. So after the skin is being like super deeply exfoliated with the acids, this neutralizes the acid. So it calms it down. You will feel the chemical reaction when you first apply this. It burns a little bit, but not in like a scary way. Just kind of gets warm on the face. And then it sits on the skin. You leave this on for 15 minutes. So picture this, like your skin gets exfoliated. Then you get this, it neutralizes it. And also clay pulls out any toxins in your fresh exfoliated skin. I'm telling you guys, like it's actually a facial at home. Like it's a real facial at home. That's all I have to say about that. It's phenomenal. It's so good. If you can't tell, I love it. Speaking of facials, this is a little bit of a different one. The Drunk Elephant Bouncy Bright Facial. This is a great one to add at the very end of your skincare routine. It's just gonna add a little boost of brightness. This is so good. This has salicylic acid and azelaic acid in it. So it's gonna really brighten the skin and clear the skin, which is so nice. I love it. I just, it's so good. I notice a huge difference when I use this. I feel like this is one of my favorite discoveries of the year. I have never tried anything like this formula. This is the Rode Glaze 
glazing milk and boy is it phenomenal. You can use this however you want really. I use it as my toner before applying moisturizer but I also love applying it all over the body before my body moisturizer, especially on like the neck and chest. It leaves the most beautiful glow all over the skin. I actually just did my new sister-in-law, she just got married to my brother-in-law. I did her makeup for her wedding and we used this on her body as like a body glow. I mixed in a little bit of a liquid highlight and put it all over her skin and like her skin looked like it was glowing from within. The nice thing is it sinks into the skin so it doesn't leave your body feeling sticky if you do use it on the body and it's phenomenal obviously on the face as well. Out of almost everything that I have in this video, like I feel like this is something that everybody should try. It's just such a cool formula. I don't think I'll ever be able to live without it, honestly. I feel like I've mentioned these before in past videos, but I'm not positive. So I'm gonna mention them again in case. This brand called Dew is absolutely insane. I love it so much. Like when I travel and I want a super light toiletry bag, I bring this serum and this moisturizer. This is their deliverance serum. This is empty. I've gone through two of these now. This is almost empty. This is my second one here. It's their Instant Angel Lipid Rich Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers I've ever tried. This is one of the best skincare brands I've ever, ever tried. It's so good. I had to mention them. Also from Dew is their Oracle Reviving Eye Gel. This is a beautiful eye gel. If you're worried about eye creams like breaking you out or giving you milia around the eyes, I've never found this to be the case with this formula. It's lightweight but hydrating. Like it's so good. Like I love that brand so much. I always look forward to any new launches and I can't wait to see what else they come out with. And I can't wait to restock these two products because I actually cannot live without them. They're incredible. They do the most for my skin. My skin loves those products more than anything, honestly. Also from Osea is this atmosphere protection cream. I love this stuff. I actually keep it down here on my filming desk because I love to use it to hydrate but also prime the skin for makeup. I wore it all over the skin today to prep and it's just perfect. It sinks into the skin and it almost leaves like a grippy finish which is perfect for applying your makeup right after. It's so good plus it smells Amazing, like every Osea product smells like a spa, so the experience is top notch as well. Okay, this face oil that I'm gonna talk about has my entire heart. It is so good, it is so good. I am like addicted to it. This was sent to me. It is a pricey face oil, but when I run out, I will buy it again. Like, and I don't really splurge too heavily on skincare. I will here and there, but only on things that I know I need, like, and I know that my skin actually feels super different with, if that makes sense. This face oil, you guys, this is for Tuna Skin, their Biphase Moisturizing Oil. It is not like any other face oil I've tried. Okay, it is so beautiful. Their whole line is made with olive oil, but it's done in a really like high quality way. I, I geek out and I like look into these brands. I'm just obsessed with like brands and the founders of the brands and like the mission that they have, all of it. So I dove into Fortuna. I was just so in love with this brand and I've only tried a couple of the products, but I'm excited to try more. This is absolutely insane. I went through an entire travel size bottle of this and my skin, absolutely loves it. I use this every single day. It's very expensive, um, but a little goes a long way. I use about two to three drops every time I use it, which honestly is like that much of a full dropper. So I do feel like it will last a long time. And again, like I said, I will be rebuying this when it runs out. They did have like a sale during the holidays. So if you want to try it, I would maybe keep an eye on it and see if you can get it on sale. Maybe they have a coupon code for like first customers. I don't know. Point is, or get the travel size, okay? Just try it if you're interested. If you like to splurge on skincare, Fortuna Skin, you have to check out. Like I'm so in love with this face oil. So in love with it. Speaking of Fortuna, this is the eye revitalizing cream. This is their eye cream. I have been using it. I do really love it. The price on this feels very, very steep for an eye cream. So if I had to steer you toward one, I would say get the face oil um, over the eye cream, but I did want to mention it because I have been really enjoying this. It's a beautiful formula, but this one is like painfully expensive. So very high-end luxurious brand. The face oil is definitely the thing that I feel like changed my skin routine, um, but the eye cream I'm loving. I wanted to mention it even though you can find much more affordable eye creams out there, okay? That's not like a need. Speaking of more affordable eye creams, the Kiehl's eye cream with avocado. I'm so late to this bandwagon, but I love this stuff. It's so hydrating, yet it's lightweight, but somehow it's like rich. I don't know how they did this in this formula. It doesn't break me out around my eye area, which I love, and it preps the skin perfectly for underneath makeup. I love using this at night as my eye cream. It's so good. This is an amazing eye cream. This might be like my favorite eye cream of the year, honestly. It's so nice. 
Speaking of eye cream, although this is a tinted one, this Colleen Rothschild Illuminating Tinted Eye Cream is so beautiful. I heard so many people talk about this and rave about it and I finally caved and bought it. This is absolutely stunning. It has like a little bit of a pinky peach undertone to it so it corrects the eyes, but it's an eye cream. So if you're looking for something to really just brighten up the eye area without makeup, this is where it's at. It's so good. And it's especially beautiful paired with the RMS Supernatural Radiant Serum. These two are a match made in heaven for those days where you just want to look really healthy but you want your skin to like look a little more even all over like these two together are insane they're so good another serum that is so worth the hype is the Cozarx advanced snail mucin power essence i don't really want to know how they collect the snail mucin in here i try not to think too hard about it because this does wonders for my skin okay this is worth it this is a product that lives up to the hype the way that my pores virtually disappear when i use this consistently is beyond me it's so beautiful i feel like everyone's obsessed with it for a reason if you haven't tried it highly recommend trying that out i'm gonna mention this again even though i think it was in my last year's video this was like my top sunscreen of the year so i'm gonna mention it again this is empty i need a new one the summer friday shade drops it's a mineral milk sunscreen and it's my favorite it's the best it's the best for underneath makeup my skin loves it it feels amazing on the skin it's not greasy it's just it's the best so if you need a sunscreen buy that one for lip products, I of course love the Uller Henriksen Peptide Lip Treatment as well as the Rode Peptide Lip Treatments. I've gone back and forth between these two. Really love both of those. They hydrate the lips really nicely. For the neck, I'm obsessed with this neck serum from Necessaire. This feels like a, an extra step for sure, but I love it. I love having like a dedicated neck serum for some reason. I feel like I take care of my neck more when there's something that says neck serum on it to remind me to like you know, take care of my neck. I really love this. I use it underneath any moisturizer. I'll pair it with this a lot as well on my neck and chest, which I really love. It's just a beautiful formula, fragrance free. So that's always a plus. Also for the face, I love this Zip Nano Current device. You guys have probably heard of Microcurrent, which basically it sends electrical pulses into the skin. They're really gentle though, and it tightens the muscles in the skin and just, it, there's so many benefits. You can look it up. I get it done at facials but this is like an at-home device. And so microcurrent is one thing, this is nanocurrent. So it's an even smaller wavelength and I love it. This is called the Zip. This is actually one of their older versions, their newest updated version. I actually haven't tried, they did send it to me, but I, I just was like used to this one, so I kept using this. But I love it, it's so gentle. You almost barely feel it, which I really like. So you just kind of like follow their guided tutorials and use it to sculpt and lift the face. And I swear it makes such a difference when I use this consistently, it's so nice. And I, I especially love how gentle it is because with some microcurrent devices, it almost feels zippity zappy, which kind of gives me the heebie-jeebie sometimes. This is way more gentle and I feel like it just allows me to use it more consistently because it's so like calming almost on the skin. Anyway, love that device. It's so good. All right, we're gonna use this next device to segue into body. This is something that was gifted to me last year and my husband and I are both obsessed with it. I've never really talked about things like this on my channel. This is a wellness product. This is the higher dose PEMF mat. I love this mat. So essentially this mat mimics the wavelength of the earth. Did you hear me? You can mimic the wavelength that the earth naturally gives off which this is like, I geek out over this. You can Google it, okay? I'm not gonna go into too much depth, but I geek out over all this stuff. I mean, it makes sense. Like the earth is so healing. So when we step outside barefoot, for example, our body, since we have a frequency and we are electric essentially, it can feel the wavelength of the earth and it just really helps calm you. It relaxes you. It can also energize you if it's at a certain frequency. So anyways, this mat, it also has like crystals in it. It has infrared heat as well. It's phenomenal. Like I've been using it all year long. And when I tell you, I feel an insane difference. I feel an insane difference. Like just read some of the reviews. You can Google it yourself. Okay. To each their own. Of course, you got to do your own research. Talk to your doctors when you use things like this. But for me, it has worked so well. It has helped me with my energy. It's helped me with my sleep. Also, I told you I wouldn't geek out, but I'm gonna tell you one more thing that I love about it. Because these wavelengths work so harmoniously with your body's communication, it literally energizes your cells and then it helps detox anything that's in your body because your cells end up working better. The detox pathways are more efficient. It's insane. Just Google it. Just look it up. 
and this mat is so beautiful. I think I have a coupon code. This is not sponsored. I think I have a higher dose coupon code. If I do, and if it works on the mat, I will have it linked down below for you guys if you're interested in this. They also make a smaller one, a little PEMF Go mat, which I'll pop up right here, a little picture, if you want like a smaller one, but I thoroughly enjoy like laying on my full mat. It's so good. My husband and I both love it. It's like insane. It's so amazing, especially going into the new year, like, it's just so nice to have something so calming and grounding and healing in your house. Anyway, that's enough about that. I love it. I almost forgot, I wanted to throw in this Dr. Dennis Gross plumping lip treatment, this stuff. I put it in skincare because I feel like it's more of like a treatment product versus makeup. This stuff plumps your lips, okay? Like it plumps your lips, it works so well and it doesn't hurt as bad as some lip plumpers. So I wanted to throw this in here really quickly as well. It's so nice. Moving into body, this is my favorite body scrub at the moment, the Osea Andaria Cleansing Body Polish. This is so nice. It has the most beautiful texture. You can see how much I love this, like I'm almost out of it. Of course it's Osea, so it smells like a spa. It gently exfoliates the skin and it just leaves your skin feeling smooth, polished, hydrated. It kind of like foams up into a lather, like a milky lather as well when it comes in contact with water and it's stunning. I especially love using it all over like the neck, chest, shoulders, arms. I feel like it really helps just take care of that skin. So sometimes what I'll do, cause it's so gentle, in the shower I'll scrub it all over and I'll kind of let it sit for a minute so that those AHAs can really work and exfoliate the skin. And I feel like it just really helps my skin look so glowy and healthy in this area. You can use it all over the body, but I focus it in that area cause I feel like it's such a luxurious little treatment. So I love that. This Mara Sea Sculpt Body Oil is so beautiful. It's such a unique formula. It doesn't feel like your average body oil. It really sinks into the skin and almost leaves your skin feeling velvety, if that makes sense. Like it's such a nice product. I love using it with their Mara Sea Sculpt Body Tool. This is great for lymphatic drainage. You can like look up videos on how to pair these together, but I've been really loving that as well. Those are my body picks. And then we're gonna go into some fragrance. So this fragrance I wore for the majority of the year. I feel like it's not quite a winter fragrance, so I'm not wearing it currently, but St. Rose Juliet and White is such a phenomenal scent. I'm so picky with fragrance and this is one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. It's a little bit more like fresh and floral than what I've typically reached for, but it doesn't give me a headache. It's so beautiful. They have so many gorgeous scents. I can't wait to try more from this brand. I'm obsessed. The Fleur Not Your Baby perfume had me in a chokehold for a while during the summer. This one, there's something nostalgic about this. I don't know what it is. This smells like similar to an old perfume I used to use, which is maybe why I love it so much, but I love this one too. I've been going for more fresh, like almost floral fragrances this year, which kind of like freaks me out because I used to not like that at all. And now that's like what I'm reaching for over my more musky scents. Well, I take that back. Uh, in the spring, I used to wear like unisex fragrances all throughout the year. Now I'm kind of dipping into fresher fragrances for the first half of the year and then I go ham on like my replica by the fireplace in the fall and winter. Anyway, I also fell in love with the Solterre Pink Beach Body Mist, this stuff, another summer fragrance. This has like coconut, vanilla, almond blossom. It's warm, but it's fresh. Oh my gosh, like I cannot get enough of this. It's so good. <laughs> I forgot how good it was. Oh, I love it so much. Then, last but not least, my friends, we've got a hand cream. This is a newer addition to my life, but I'm putting it in this video because the hype is worth it for this. The L'Occitane Hand Cream Intensive Hand Balm. This is going with me everywhere. It has saved me this winter, so I had to throw this in here because I'm obsessed with it. I actually feel like I need a little right now. It's not overly greasy, which is nice too. Like it really sinks into the skin, which I love. And it has a nice like refreshing light scent. It's not overpowering. Anyway, for nails, I realized I didn't have like specific colors that I wore a lot this year, um, but Lights Lacquer obviously wins forever. I wear Lights Lacquer all the time. I still love Olive in June, but Lights Lacquer specifically, I still love their nail art tattoos. Those are insane. They're so nice. <clears throat> but you really can't go wrong with any of their polishes. So I normally have like specific colors, but I couldn't think of any specifics this year. So I did a lot of fragrance instead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my picks and my top faves from the year. I will have the playlist down below if you wanna see any previous years or if you wanna catch up on the drugstore or high-end version of this video for makeup. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are in love with any of the products that I talked about today or if there's a body or hair or skincare product or fragrance that you think I should try, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're still here. 
You are a real one. Thank you so much for watching me blab about all my favorite products. I love doing this every year, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been loving. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.